So I'm just putting this short video together for Buzz1151 of YouTube fame. As this recently came into my possession, and it is strangely familiar to one that Buzz recently restored on his channel. The radio in Buzz's video is a Sentinel, whereas this one here is a Addison, specifically a Model 53, I think. Uh, more on that later. The Model 53 came out in roughly 1952-1953 and was manufactured by Addison Industries of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. One thing to note on this radio is that as far as I know that is the original pointer. It is made out of plastic however so that may not be the case. Unfortunately, the dial cord on this radio is broken, so it no worky. We'll try to fix that later. Anyway, I'll take the pointer off and get some measurements out to old Buzz, so if he wants to try and replicate it, he can. This is another shot of the radio <clears throat> from the back um, showing the uh, the back plate. Um, this one actually, the radio did come with a back plate and uh, it does have the antenna on it. Uh, we'll see that once we take the back off and take a look inside. Now I've taken this apart before, <clears throat> so I know that the antenna is not connected uh, very well. But if I bring this into the shot, there's a shot of the actual antenna on this in its full glory. This one appears to be just a stub. It doesn't actually loop back to anything, but it ends here. So it's like a quarter turn of wire. There are a total of 33 turns on the winding. Uh, the, uh, the winding itself is this terminal here to this terminal here. And this terminal here, of course, is a stub I mentioned before that terminates there. Total width of it of the coil is uh, eight inches by four and a half on the outside. The radio is basically the same chassis, same tube layout. Um, the air condenser seems to be exactly the same as the Sentinel. The tube layout is a 6BJ5, 12BE6, I believe this one here. It's another 6BJ6, a 12AT6, a 50B5, and a 35W4. There's a shot of the front of the radio with a blown dial cord. And um, it's pretty much identical in terms of its features. Um, very, simil very, very similar to the, the Sentinel. There's a shot of the, the beauty side. A couple of really, really crusty looking waxies in there. This one uh, is even starting to blow out there. So it's going to need a full recap. It looks like somebody might have been in here. I don't know if this is original. All of the caps are marked with a date code of 1950, I believe. Yes. 
8-50. So it was made in either 1951, maybe 1952. At the beginning of the video I mentioned that um, it might be a Model 53, I don't quite know. And the reason for that is the following. The um, voice coil, or the voice circuit, uses, uh, in this circuit here, representing a Model 53, uses a, a voice coil to energize the speaker. Um, kind of like a, a humbucker sort of arrangement and it's also acting as the part of the filter in the power supply. The radio on the other hand as you can see does not have an electromagnet and so uses a standard resistor in the power supply to form the pi filter. The two capacitors and the resistor in the pi circuit. So I don't know if this actually is a Model 53 or if it's a Model 54 or some other later version uh, where they upgraded the circuit but kept the chassis the same. So anyway, that's about all I want to put in this video on this. Um, just some information for Buzz because uh, I really found it quite amazing that um, it's a completely different radio made by a different company. Uh, all this, this one's Canadian. I suspect it's, it may be a rebadged radio or it may be a radio that was licensed to Addison or maybe the other way around. Um, just too similar to be a coincidence. Anyway, I hope you all are doing okay and uh, during this time, wish you all the best and take care of yourself. And that's it for me. Bye for now.